We're proud to be a part of the University of South Florida, a global research university focused on student success. The National Science Foundation has recently ranked us a top 30 public research institution. Chronicles of Higher Education has recently named us number one in Fulbright Awards. The College of Marine Science is located in St. Petersburg, Florida. We've grown to a global leader in ocean research and graduate education. So students that come here have the opportunity not only to work with cutting edge researchers at the college, but also with a whole community of marine scientists here in St. Petersburg. We are both chemical oceanographers here at the College of Marine Science at the University of South Florida. We both study trace metal chemistry in the oceans. Iron, for example, is an essential micronutrient to nearly all life on Earth. Um, and the oceans are no exception. But there's a big problem with iron. It doesn't really dissolve in seawater, and so there's really low concentrations, which leads to limitation of growth over most of the surface oceans. Advances in techniques for the sampling and analysis of trace metals in seawater have led to the launch of the Geotraces program. And this program is a global program. It involves 30 different countries, and it is the very first global mapping project of trace elements and isotopes in the oceans. In my lab, we are looking at how bacteria phytoplankton interactions alter metal speciation in the waters around Antarctica. And in collaboration with Maya Breitbart, another faculty member here at CMS, uh, she and I are looking at how iron is used in the structure and function of viruses. My PhD thesis is investigating the role of bacteriophages, which are viruses that infect bacteria within the oceans, to use iron to um, both structurally form their tail fibers, but also to infect their bacterial host. I study sea level rise and variability, and I try to understand all the processes that drive it, uh, anything from ocean circulation changes to melting of the ice sheets. One of the coolest uh, measurements I use is from a satellite uh, that measures the Earth's gravity every month. The Earth's gravity changes minutely, but satellites flying around the Earth can detect it and we can use that to see how much the mass of the ocean has been increasing. With Dr. Uh, Jim Fong Liang, right now we're looking at where heat is stored in the ocean and how it is transported from the upper ocean into the deep ocean because this is actually very critical for understanding how sea level will rise in the future. My research interest is about the influence of mesosphere eddies on the deep ocean processes including the biological, physical, chemical and geological processes. For the mesosphere eddies work I mainly use uh, satellite data to identify mesosphere eddies at the surface and use deep ocean measurement to look at the deep ocean processes and then use statistical model to look at the relationship between them. And I think students benefit from working in our multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary studies is that they're working on real world problems that will be applicable far beyond their graduate education. Experience at College of Marine Science has been great. Uh, being a second year PhD student, I just finished the core curriculum this last year, which included a class in physical oceanography, biological oceanography, chemical oceanography, and geological oceanography. And coming from a physics undergrad background, it was great to be able to learn with peers who study in each of those different disciplines and get a broader knowledge of marine science. One of the large uh, programs that we have here in the College of Marine Science uh, in support of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill uh, has been the development of this uh, program with our center named Sea Image. And Sea Image stands for the Center for Integrated Modeling and Analysis of Gulf Ecosystems. The problem with uh, marine oil spills is they're getting deeper and deeper because the industry itself is moving from the shallow water, easy to get oil, to the deep water hard to get and riskier oil. And so our research has to adapt to the changing circumstances of, of deep marine oil exploration. There's a word uh, uh, or a phrase that says, uh, the boundary of the scientific disciplines is truly the frontier of the science. So it's really critical that they are able to cross over scientific disciplines. And we're hoping that the science that we do here actually fundamentally changes the policy of how we regulate uh, deep oil uh, drilling and production. And also it's really important for the students because they get a, a, an education in these multiple disciplines, which is so important in working in teams for their future. The work that we do at the College of Marine Science is more important than ever. The last 16 of the 17 years have been the hottest on record. We integrate all the disciplines to understand 
the workings of the ocean system, and we're developing new tools to help make the observations, to understand the changes to our environment, and how those changes are going to impact our future of sustainability on the planet.